How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of TBH. I'm your host, Jay. We've got our host, Peter Flores, here. Let's get into another review today, you guys. We're going to be going to San Diego to Escondido, California, to be exact, to the Stone Brewing Company, to review one of their latest releases, their Smoked Porter with Chipotle Peppers, coming in at 5.9% ABV. All right, now the, appear, uh, the appearance on the smoke porter with chipotle peppers. Let's get into this one. What do you think about it? Nice. Uh, huge head. And, uh, you know, at first, on the first initial pour, it looked almost brownish. I said uh, yeah. Coca-Cola color, you know, color almost. But then yeah, you got definitely, that. Yeah, you definitely get know. that nice, almost uh, dark brown. Mm -hmm. um, you get those ruby red hues in there. Huge yes. carbonation. This is really carbonated. Definitely, definitely that two-finger frothy khaki head. Mm -hmm. Not dissipating at all. Okay, lacing's in it. Yeah, nice, and uh, you, you do see those bubbles shooting up. Yeah. What are you picking up? Mm. I'm picking up definitely that nice sweetness, that nuttiness of the, you know, the porter. Yep. And then, uh, you know, follows by the subtleties of that uh, smoked chipotle pepper. Um, and the smokiness also is in there somewhere, in the, you know, around medium part of the smell. To me, you definitely get that base beer, that, that smoke malt. You definitely get the nice little roasted qualities, real subtle. Mm -hmm. Then that, that whole chipotle pepper skin is right there. Yeah. Reminds me, like, if you throw peppers on a, a uh, on the oven and let them just burn and get black and get that oh, nice yeah. aromatic, uh, just resiny pepper skin definitely. vibe going on, real burnt. Nice and smoky, and at the same time, you get yeah. that little, that chili seed almost... Uh, yeah, you definitely Spicy. get a subtle campfire smoke in here, but uh, mm -hmm. it seems like the pepper's really overpowering this one. Yeah. Yep. Definitely a nice one. In the front of the palate, you're picking up the nice, you know, sweetness, middle, smoke, the big smoke flavor, which I told Jay, you know, Stone's always good. When it says smoked, you're guaranteed smoke. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's going to be smoky. And then at the end, just that subtleness of the chipotle. Um, I wouldn't, hmm. on the after flavor more is actually the aftertaste, you're getting more of a pepper, yeah, yeah. more th than throughout the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, definitely, and for me, I'm picking up that base, you know, beer still, I can still pick up those roasted qualities, that coffee in there, subtle, um, that resinous peppers in there, you definitely get that smoke campfire, front of the palate, that's where I get a lot of the smoke on the tip of the palate, sides of the palate, you get a, a, a bitterness on there middle of the palate you pick up that that creaminess with the mouthful still you do definitely get some nice carbonation on the palate too and then the end you just get that nice chipotle pepper skin bitter dryness almost and you just get it in the aftertaste for a while it just sticks yeah. there more than you do get any of the other characteristics of the beer definitely the taste is uh nice and actually pretty well balanced the way it works yeah out. it is it's not really all over the place it's kind of it's well constructed pretty much you know um and I, I, I like it You know, we thought about this one, just basically broke it down and everything. Hands down, this is a good beer. Um, it's solid. There's nothing bad about it, but at the same time, it's not overly impressive. Um, wish I would have picked up a little bit more pepper like you you know, you know, wanted in this one. But we're giving this one a 16 out of a 20, you guys. Any last words? Just um, an excellent beer, excellent pairing beer with something spicy or one of your dishes or, um, you know, possibly for a dessert. It'd be a nice contrast with some ice cream and chocolate. I can see it working well. Um, definitely, like Jay said too as well, like a cooking beer, use it in a uh, recipe, maybe some chili, chili beans, it would really enhance the flavors and um, maybe even come up with like a marin barbecue marinade yeah. for it. I could see that working as well, you know, adding it in. So it's definitely interesting. It's, it's pretty versatile and overall we enjoyed the, the balance of it. Um, just wish for a little bit more yeah, pepper. Yeah, a little bit more pepper in there. Yeah, a little heat, a little bit more heat. I think the heat units are a little bit low, I could, but we definitely got it as, as it opened up uh, yeah. and as it warmed up, we definitely got more you know, that Chipotle flavor, so. Yep. Well, you guys, 16 out of 20, making that a B beer, solid B. Um, other than that, another great beer review. Like we always say over here, live, learn, and drink. Until the next time, we're going to enjoy our beers. You guys do the same. Mm.